Yo, Paul Cuffey was a G whose net worth was over a million dollars in the early 1800s, adjusting for inflation, and he used his wealth and influence to build a school for us, to advocate for voting rights, and to begin one of the first Back to Africa programs over a hundred years before Marcus Garvey. How did he do it? Well, let me explain. Paul Cuffey was born 17 years before the Declaration of Independence in 1759 in colonial America as a free black man because his father had been previously freed during his lifetime. After his father's death, he would inherit a farm and he also began working along the sea during the American Revolution. Afterwards, he kept at it and built a lucrative business. In 1780, he refused to pay taxes because he wasn't allowed to vote. By 1783, Massachusetts allowed all men the right to vote. As the wealthiest black man in America at the time, he then used his wealth to open an integrated school. By 1811, he felt spiritually obligated to use his wealth to help free blacks settle in Africa. 